What's up, people, and welcome back to Ivan's Alignment. Today, we are working on what pretty much everyone is building. Goodbye, Civics. Goodbye, GTRs. Goodbye, classic JDM cars if you were racing on like RX-7's Corolla. That's a thing of the past. Now, everyone's building the same damn thing, right? Boom! M340i. What do you think about that, Chris? That's what we got That's today. the wave, right? It Everybody's is what it is. on it. Anyways. This car has a few things. Obviously, we all know this is a B58, not a S58, but most S58s with a few bolt-ons, they run nines. B58s, you gotta do a little bit more than just a few bolt-ons, but they get there. So today we're doing some H&R springs on it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty, it's, it's actually very easy. It's like doing an M3, M3. I just said that twice. A M2 and a M3. Um, M4 is pretty similar to it. Anyways, let's get to it. Here's the spring. I have a few tools here. Oh, and my hat. Let me get that out of the way. Bang, bang, bang. Chris, what do we have to use here to take that rear spring out? So let me let me let Chris guide the way so I can have more fun with this camera. Need 21 socket. <coughs> socket. Okay, so we're gonna go step by step as we do this. Here we go. First thing you're gonna wanna do is take the little plastic cover off. That should be a 10 mil. With an extension. With an extension. Bam. And just like that, we got the cover off, right? So you got one, two, three, right? This one, you're just going to loosen it. And then you're gonna take these two out. This one should be, what size is this? 21, right, Chris? Yes, sir. That's a 21, and the other one is, looks like an 18. Is this an 18? Nope. Yep, 18, right? Take the 21 out, take the 18 out. You loosen the 21 over here, and this control arm is gonna drop. If you could put something under it to support it, great. Um, I would highly suggest that. Does it have a lot of pressure? Nah, not really. But keep it safe, people. If you're doing this on the ground, very simple. Just put a jack stand on it. Put a jack stand under it, bring it down. If you don't, if you're doing it in the air like us, use one of these jack stands. Again, 21, just loosen it. Good enough. 18 and 21, right? So it's a tor it's a it's an inverted torx on this side. Oh, I forgot I got this. There we go. Inverted tor torx, and then you have the 21 here. It's very very simple, guys. You cannot mess that up, right? So we're gonna get this out. Once I loosen those, actually Chris is gonna loosen it. We're using an air gun, so it's gonna be so much quicker. As you see, no pressure. Boat came out with no problem. That's the 18. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the 21. Mm -hmm. 16 on the back. Well, that's a little hard. By the way, guys, even though it's an inverted Torx, you could use a 16 millimeter wrench. Use the box end on it. Don't use it to loosen it. Just use it so you can hold it. It will hold on to it pretty tight, pretty good. Or just get some inverted Torx. You could do that as well. Obviously, we use a wrench. We have inverted Torx. We've been doing this for years, so. Did we mess anything up? I'll show you. No, nothing at all. Just in case you're curious on that. Now you could either hit, pull and tug on the bolt and it's gonna come out pretty easy because as you see, the knuckle moves. There's not really much pressure. Loosen, bring down the jack. Hold it a bit. If you don't wanna hold it, you can let go of it and what's gonna happen, that's gonna happen. It's gonna come right down. 
obviously there's two rubber isolators, people, right? There's one on the bottom. Hold on. There you go. It's one on the bottom. This one goes on the bottom. Do not forget it does go on the bottom. Here you go. And then you have the one on the top. Do not forget it goes on the top, right? And this is what it's going to look like up in there and up in here. Now, this is for the right side, people. When you're doing the left side, it is the same process, but you have a sensor here. You see the sensor? You can go two ways about it. You could grab it here, take it out from here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a 10. Can't even remember anymore. Or you could take it out from these little plastic clips, just squeeze them with some pliers, push it up, and you get the whole thing out. Do not forget, guys. If you do forget, you're gonna break it. Or you could take it off the 10 mil up here. Let me show, yep, right there, 10 mil. You could do that as well, so that's easy. Obviously, we already did this side, so I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Nice and blue, beautiful. And this is what this side is gonna look like with the uh, insulators and everything on, people. And, oh damn, let me turn this light off. And just like that, guys, it's how you're going to do the rear. How long did it take us with a few tools? I kid you not, bro. I could bang that back out in 15 minutes. You could too. You could too. So we're going to finish that off, torque everything up. If you need torque specs, I am going to put it down in the description. And if I forget, which I shouldn't forget, um, just look them up, right? But make sure you torque everything under a load under a load people torque everything under a load if you don't torque it under a load you're going to mess up the bushings you're not going to get the perfect height um again i'm going to go ahead and put this together and i'll be right back all right guys so now we're going to go to the front right the front um a little more complicated because it's all-wheel drive it's not two-wheel drive i'm going to show you a few little tricks here as well maybe not a few maybe one anyways first thing you want to do sway bar link 16 millimeter snap it out bang 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 out second one you want to take off is the one on the shock right this is also 16 on one side but 18 on the other right once you got that loose this little bracket here is going to come out i'm going to show you that right now chris take that out i'm going to have chris work in here damn chris's cut is fresh as hell bro look at that my man got the waves. Yo, Johnny, what do you think about the waves, Johnny? Fresh. Fresh, right? My man. Damn. If you work here at Ivan Valimus, you got to look fresh, Johnny. It's, it's just mandatory. Look at me. I stay fresh. Look, my boys, they all stay fresh. We stay fresh, yo. That's why Chris stay fresh, bro. I'm telling you. Any girl interest, let me know. I'll give you his phone number. He makes a lot of money. Take an application. Take an application. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let me show you, let me show you, all right. So we got the bracket out the way. We disconnected the ABS sensor just so we got a little more slack out of it. That's just by taking out the bolt, right? Which it's gonna pretty much from one side to another, the bolt, what it does, it clamps down the strut, right? It's annoying sometimes, trust me guys, <laughs> it's annoying. The sway bar link, obviously, it is out of the way. So, since it's all-wheel drive, I do not want to loosen that axle now. I do not want to retool. I just don't want to deal with the axle. It is what it is. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to loosen the lower control arm. I'm not going to take the bolt out. I am just going to loosen. If you want to go through all the work and loosen both, God bless you. I usually just loosen this one right here. I do not take the tie rod out, nor anything else. What size is that, Chris? 18. 18. So we're going to grab using a ratchet wrench, swivel head ratchet wrench. I mean, I'm sure you could use uh, something different. I don't know. Be creative, people. But that's loose. Good. I'm going to drop. I'm going to grab. You can, I, I actually have the tool for this. But if you don't have the tool, you could use a chisel or a thick enough flathead screwdriver or use a mini pry bar, right? I'm gonna show you right now. Gonna do, there you go. What you're gonna do is expand it a little bit. Just leave it in there, right? It's not gonna bother you or nothing like that. Grab the whole knuckle and just spray it with WD-40. Once you spray with WD-40, listen, 
on this YouTube video is not like many others where the thing slides down. We're in the tri-state. We got a lot of water, moisture, rust. So I'm actually gonna use an air hammer and I'm gonna love tap it down slowly, little by little, which is only gonna put a small little marks on it. If you go crazy with the air hammer, you are gonna fuck up this whole knuckle. So I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Check it out. Here we go. Oh man. Let me get this hold over here. I'm gonna angle it, and guys, very slowly. I'm gonna move it to the other side. If you notice, look how much it came, hold this Chris. How much it came down and look at the marks. Very minor, right? Very minor. That's what you want to do. Very minor marks on it. You don't want it to look all beat up, like, no. And obviously, your little pry bar is going to fall off. Guess what? You got to get it back in there. Hit it again until you get the whole knuckle out, guys. So I'm going to get this out. As soon as I get it out, then I'm going to show you what I do to loosen the top. And I'll take you through the process of swapping the spring. I'll be back. And just like that, with the air hammer, like I showed you guys, as you see, look at the marks. Very, very minimum. And that's how you wanna keep it, right? Okay. Really mangled up. So now that we have it out of here, I'm gonna lure the car, and I'm gonna show you how I take it out from the top. So as far as the top goes, we have some plastic covers, has some clips where it says unlock, take it out, move it to the side. You have some of these little clips here. Let me see. Ugh. You can do it with your hands, trust me, you don't wanna do it with your hands. Just grab a tool, pry it out, take them out. You got that out, that's out. Once you have that out, voila. Have one, two, three, four inverted torques. All you gotta do, you take them out, you get the whole shock out, people. And that's how you get the strut out. Very quick, simple, easy steps. All right, guys, now as far as the spring removal, these springs barely have any pressure. So with a 18 millimeter socket, we're gonna hit it with the gun, go ahead. You saw that? Nice and easy, people. You do not need a spring compressor. Don't be scared, the spring is not gonna smack you in the face. Well, at least it hasn't smacked us yet. <laughs> Grab the spring, obviously find the right position. Put it in the right place. You have the rubber isolators. Make sure it sits where the old spring was sitting at. There you go. What the hell am I recording? There you go. Put the bump stop in it. Um, some of these car, some, some vehicles with H&R springs, they do require you to cut the bump stop. Not in this application, but just read the instructions, people. It doesn't cost you anything, so sometimes just read it. Woo, it's hot here today. It's only 94 degrees in here. So as far as putting the new spring in, it's very easy, people. Between two people. Between one, it's gonna be very difficult. But if you have one guy, Chris, give me, where's the nut? There's a the nut. All right, so Chris is gonna push it down. And we're gonna have Johnny put the nut in. Ready, Johnny? Come on. Go, Johnny. Johnny. Go, 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 go. Oh boy. It's in already. It's in already? All right. Look at that. Damn, Chris, you're strong. You just compressed an h and spring, bro. How do you feel about that? That's light work, bro. Damn, you Where's said that's bicycle? light work. And now, the same way you took everything apart, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna show you how to put this in the easiest way. I'll take that back. Where's that, uh, where's the lube, Chris? <sighs> I'm gonna show you how easy you can get this on. Grab the strut. Anti-seize it. You could use red grease, whatever you wanna use. Just grease it up. Or just hit it with WD-40. Spray the life out of it.
there is a pin. There you go. That pin goes right in between. If you don't have that pin in the right place, you're in for it. Another thing is this ABS wire. Make sure it's not over here. It's here. All right. A lot of people can mess that one up too. Trust me, I've seen it. <laughs> and this is how we send it. Send it, Chris. Go in, make sure you don't hit the body of the car. Ah. You always want to get first the bottom in. So we're going to put the shock in the knuckle first. And then you could put a jack stand on it and push the whole knuckle up. That to me is the easiest way so far. So once you have it there, you're gonna move it around. Trust me, it's gonna land in people with no problem. And then you put a jack stand on it, push it up. You get your four bolts in and you're all set. <sighs> and once you have all that done, don't forget your lower control arms are loose. So either you could tighten them up on the alignment rack, torque them to spec, or put a load on the suspension and then tighten them up, all right? Guys, hope this video helps you guys out. Um, it's the best I could do. It's freaking hot and we're aligning cars like crazy over here. I'm gonna try to keep making content for you guys out there. Um, any questions, just DM me at Ivan's Alignments. I'll answer them, I'll help you. Anybody need any parts or anything, I'm right here. Thanks for watching.